Senorita by Shawn Mendes and Camila Cabello was released in 2019 and got added to the Just Dance Mythos in 2020's Just Dance 2021. It's from the album Shawn Mendes Deluxe Edition Romance. It has a difficulty rating of easy and effort rating of low, one gold move, the pictogram colors in order are French Rose, Deep Aquamarine, the glove colors in order are Greenish Atlantis and Blue Ribbon, the lyric color is Deep Aquamarine, and it has 116 pictograms. This is the first song by Shawn Mendes in the series, but it is the third song by Camila Cabello in the series. If you count Fifth Harmony, then it's her fourth appearance overall. Tequila, Damn, and Lips Undress Me are censored. You could probably already guess why I'm covering this song and why I'm covering it now. Because it's February and that means that I have to be sad for a month. And can you guess why I'm sad? Yup, it's because I'm a loveless loser and I'm playing this song which is a couple song by myself. But why aren't I covering a more modern couple song? Well that's because Just Dance 2023 edition and Just Dance 2024 edition don't really have what I would personally consider a couple song. I mean last year I did Sweet But Psycho, which is not a couple song, although it is tangentially related to romance. And Just Dance 2024 edition, the closest thing on there is I Am My Own Muse, which is, again, tangentially related to romance, but not specifically a couple slash love song. There's a lot of songs about love and about relationships, but I am not about to cover Vampire anytime soon because I will have a lot to say about it and people are not gonna like what I have to say about it. So I had to scrounge all the way back to Just Dance 2021. Oh, but why not Save Your Tears? Because I want to save Save Your Tears for a different time. But as far as couple songs go, this one only made me cry for 20 minutes, so pretty big failure. Just kidding, it's actually a really good couple song, and I wish that one day I could play this with a woman I fancy. Anyway, I should actually get back to this review, shouldn't I? Let's begin with the background of the map. The background takes place in Soul Sanctuary. It has drawn flowers and vines. During the chorus, the flowers turn dark with lighter colored flowers and the vines in the back. Yeah, it's one of those, you know, like metaphorical backgrounds where it's more about showing you something pretty than actually being a danceable place, you know? And I actually kind of like those a lot more than the ones that take place in, you know, a more realistic place or that like show the dancers actually on something instead of just like floating through scenery. I actually prefer the floating through scenery stuff because it shows way more creativity than, oh, look, I put a floor under them because the actual dancer was standing on a floor. Get it, get it? But it is still very simple, so I gotta take away points. This background is gonna get a good. Now let's move on to the appearance of the coaches. The first coach is a woman with long wavy neon lavender hair. She wears a rose flowery crop top with off the shoulder sleeves, a golden sarong that reaches her feet, purple sandalettes, and a golden hairband with a sky blue rose. She also wears hippie glasses with dark purple lenses and golden hoop earrings. P2 is a man with medium length black hair. He wears a purplish pink hat with a yellow band and triangle sunglasses, black necklaces, a long sleeve light teal shirt that exposes his chest, black and gold bracelets, black pants with a black belt, and a golden slip on shoes. I'm not gonna lie, both of these designs kind of scream like designs for women in video games versus designs for men, where like the woman is like overly designed with so many details and then the man is just a guy with a shirt and pants. All I know for sure is I'm wearing a shirt and pants. Like, come on, man. Couldn't you have done anything more for this dude? Like, come on, you gave a bow to the woman, but this guy just gets a hat. And it's exactly because of this that I am going to rate the first coach a perfect and the second coach a good. Because, come on, just black pants? You couldn't wear anything more than what McDonald's employees wear for their uniform? I obviously play as the second coach because that's the one I like. You can bite me on that. And finally, let's move on to the gold moves. There is one in this routine. You simply pound your right hand on your chest twice. <sighs> Oh man, that is very, very boring and like very, very easy. And honestly, just far too easy for a game series like this, especially in 2020's Just Dance 2021. Come on, this is the 11th mainline entry and you're out here pulling these kind of gold moves. Like I get it, this is meant for like the couples or like, you know, the, the guy who has a girlfriend and the girlfriend doesn't play a lot of Just Dance. So the guy convinces her to play Just Dance because of this song, they get to like express the love for each other. So they want to keep it like relatively easy. But isn't this a little bit too easy? You know what I'm saying? Like, like, wouldn't a couple that plays just dance, wouldn't, wouldn't they want something with a little bit more oomph? Eh, I guess there's plenty of routines for that. So, you know, one that's dedicated to love is fine for that. But I'm just thinking with my, you know, solo playing just dancer brain. I'm not thinking about the actual couples because I can't relate to y'all. I just can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am lonely. Anyway, this gold move gets an okay. 
Overall, Senorita gets a super. Do you have any suggestions? Leave them down below and adios. Yeah.